Hi, Miss Knight. How's Tim? Oh, hi there. Uh, I'm just uh, just uh, phoning up to inquire as to why prices have gone down on Chilton Line recently. Gone down? Which ones have gone down? Uh, for example, journeys between High Wycombe and Gerrard's Cross are now a lot cheaper than previously. Um, we did recently review the pricing structure. Um, oh, right. Some, some fares have gone up. Some single fares have gone up, actually, in that area. Oh, no. Um, the same is still in line with 1995 prices. Oh, right. Some are still in line with that. So made some adjustments across the board. No, no, no. It's um, the price of tickets have gone down almost entirely on the line to five p for any travel. I found there's a machine, a ticket machine, a permit machine. Right. That's the same. We just recently yeah, adjust our fares. So, um, no, I mean a any journey. You, the, the ticket only states the name of de of the station where you start your journey, so you can actually go anywhere on this ticket, and it's only 5p, which I think is rather excellent. 25 pence, you can go anywhere? No, for 5 pence. Yes. You can that's go. the purpose to travel machine. That's the what, sorry? That's the, per that's the permit to travel machine, the purchase ticket. Yep. Hmm? Yeah, it's, a yeah. Bit, it's quite, a, quite a good deal cheaper than the normal tickets. So, so you buy two tickets? No, if you buy, that one is open if the booking office is closed. Right. No, no, system. but I've, I've found, uh, yeah, that is the case. Yeah. But then, then I found out that I... Journey, then when you get to your destination, yeah. you pay the difference in what you've paid but, already for what if the, the to travel and what the fare should be. What if the ticket office is already is closed at the your destination? Normally, uh, yeah. are you, are you joking? Most services have ticket inspectors. You, most Chilton services. Yes. Yeah. I I would estimate that 80% of Chilton services I've been on have had no inspector. Right. So where do you normally travel from and to? How Wickham to where? Uh, well, I don't normally travel in High Wickham. This uh, weekend was the first time. I'm usually in between, sort of uh, Banbury and Vista North, and I get five pence travel there. Well, I do have the Banbury Massive discount as well. But you're actually meant to purchase um, from the machine. There's a machine at Banbury to purchase the full price ticket to Vista. Uh, yeah, but when there's no one there to stop you, you don't really do that, do you? Because no one likes paying more than they need to, especially where rail travel. Well, you should so. do. You're not meant to travel without a valid ticket. And what are, um, what are you going to do? So you're meant to pay the full fare. And what are you going to do if I don't? If I, I'll tell you what happens if I get caught. I'll give a fake name and address and parents' initials. You'll be, you'll be found out, so if you do do that. How so. will you find that out? And people do do that, so but you should always buy a ticket. For well, how, well how, would you, how will you find out if I give a fake name? Um, I don't work in the parents' affairs department, so I'm not sure what no. how they feel but it's, about It's probable that someone of uh, intelligence equal to yours does. Oh, in which case... Uh, Sorry, I'm just getting personal. A few passing comments, that's all right. Pardon? No. Hello? It was so passing you couldn't even understand it. Sorry? Yeah, no, I'm just saying why, what would be the benefits of me buying a ticket over a permit? I don't really see the benefit. Because one has the permit, it's only to say where you commence your journey. If the booking office is closed... Well, I know where I commence my journey. I don't need a piece of paper to tell me. That, but they should buy it, pay for the full price fare. But but if they can get it for free, won't they just all get it for free? You shouldn't do. You should, people should be honest and pay for what they're using. Oh, should they? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, God. Didn't know that. Maybe you should have that written on the back of your tickets. This is not a ticket. Not what it says at all. It says, uh, permits are we, lads? And it's got a picture of an inspector, uh, handing them out. Pardon? Shaking hands with some charvers. Yes, you can. I can't. I'm sorry, you're breaking up a bit. What did you say? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, my name is John Fannin. Uh, okay. I, I wasn't aware I had to pay for all these, uh, all this travel. Uh, do you want to take my address and then you can send me a bill? You should, you know you should be honest. 
be paying for it. So there's no point in doing that now, is there? No, but, but I, I, I will pay for it. Pardon? If I give you my phone number, you can phone me up and maybe harass me. Well, I'm not prepared to do that, no. I mean, I'm just saying if in future, please, you pay You're lazy, aren't you? You're not very good at your job. Pardon? You don't take your work seriously. I do take my work seriously. It's a very strange phone call. You, you, you like to bring children in on the job, don't you? Pardon? Exactly. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, I just don't understand what you're talking about now. I'm sorry, I know, I'm just wondering why it is I should pay the full fare. Because one is expected to pay the full fare and we trust our passengers to do so. Well, maybe you should get better passengers one. Because I don't think you can trust many of the ones you've got at the moment. Well, I think we can actually. Most of them we can do. Well, most of them are paedophiles from what I hear. But... Pardon? That's a very strange comment. Why did you say that? Well, I've... no, I'm just saying I've seen a few children getting raped in waiting rooms over the years. What, on children railways? Yeah. Especially Chilton Railways. Well, we haven't heard anything about that. We've had no... No, I bet you haven't. The train guards are right in on it. When I say in on it, I mean in on the anus and the paedophilia. Pardon? I mean, the, ch the railway, the inspectors are all... They all know about the paedophilia. They just don't do anything about it. What would you do? Well, say I would say I was in a waiting room with a young end. You, you do what? We would follow the procedures um, that we felt was the best one to follow for whatever particular situation it was. If I give you a scenario, can you tell me what the best case to follow would be? No, because it had to be followed up with health and safety. Health and safety? Yes. Who's? What if the paedophile, what if you found out the, pe the paedophile had been fair evading? Which is more serious, the fair evasion or the rape? That's a stupid question. Is it so stupid you can't answer it? Do you, do you not know?